Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to install the HB Industries Extended Bolt Release on the Strebog SP9A3. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to change out the bolt release on my SP9A3 Strebog. If you watched that video where I discussed the Strebog, one of my main complaints was the bolt release. It's terrible from the factory. Well, the nice folks over at HB Industries was kind enough to send us one over for to do an install video and I want to thank them for doing that. HB Industries uh, has been one of the leading companies in my opinion uh, with aftermarket parts and accessories for the Strebog line of firearms and other firearms, but they've definitely embraced the Strebog with fixing some issues and and having some real nice uh, things available uh, accessories so the uh, process is very simple i've already broke the bottom from the top uh just re remove the lower receiver pretty simple you pull the push the two pins out and it uh, comes off from the upper receiver just like you would an ar all right so one thing you're going to notice on this is there is a little uh, spring right in here and these pins are captured by those little springs don't worry about a lot of people bent these and things like that according to what I saw uh, on video or maybe read about or something trying to get these pins out and the simple solution is not that so let's take a look and I'll show you the easy way to do it here in a minute <clears throat> let's take a look HB Industries again I want to thank them for sending this over and it is very nice quality and it has the enhanced wings on it, I call it, right here. It's going to make it much easier to manipulate that bolt release. So, to remove this front one, if you look, this is what you need to replace. This is what you're trying to take off. And this one side, it comes off pretty easy. This other side is still captured by this pin. We'll need to remove that. Uh, by the way, the tools you see here tonight, uh, these uh, punch pins and this, uh, what I call an armorer's block um, or gun block, uh, came off of Amazon. They'll be in my store if you want in my Amazon store if you want to shop over there and find them. Pretty cheap items, pretty handy to have. Uh, one's about I don't know twelve dollars. One's eight dollars. Less about twenty bucks for both of them. So what you're gonna do is take your pin and run it all the way through until you get down to where the pin is seated, where against that spring, and you're gonna simply tap it past that spring, and it comes out just like that. All right. So then we're gonna remove the factory one. There it is, and I'll show you the difference here, side by side. Let's take a look at that. And you can see the wings on this one is much more pronounced. They're longer and they're a little bit wider. Let's do it, see if I can do it like this. If you can see that. Kind of hard to tell on this camera probably, but that kind of gives you an idea. So this is going to be much better, I am sure. So just slide it back into place, just like that, and don't lose your spring, which I just did, came out. So you wanna make sure that spring, if it does come out, it has a little curve like this, and this one's squared off. The curved portion is what goes down into the receiver, like that. All right, so then we're gonna take our pin and get it started again, and then you get it past this spring, you might have to tap it just a little bit and it's past it and now if you look it would capture it again so it's, it's functioning like it's supposed to at this point captures it just like that so now I'm going to take and put the lower back onto the upper receiver make sure your pins are pulled all the way out or it will not work get them in because these pins are tight, I'm going to take this and kind of tap them to see if I can get it going. If it doesn't go in the first time, it's probably not all the way in. You may want to check that. Don't force anything and see what happens. It's not going in. So we'll continue to kind of get it positioned correctly. There. Now it went in just like that. This one should go in just fine too. So now, if you look, I'm going to push that up to catch the bolt and it's easier to catch the bolt and also if you look how much wider and it's got a little bit more length to it so it's easier for me to reach and now it's much easier for me to 
pull down and release that bolt. Before, it was nearly impossible. I told you in that video I had to roll over with uh, roll it over and then grab this with this hand. Now I can do it with this uh, with my grip hand. So, but anyway, guys, I want to thank the folks over at HP Industries again for sending that over. Awesome. So now the other item they sent is called their micro comp. Let's take it out of the bag here and take a look. Get you an idea. It's ported all the way around. It also has this little nylon, or it's it's actually uh, I think it's made of uh, silicone, so it's high temp washer in here. And a lot of times, people that have these, they uh, are continually all, all the time trying to uh, tighten it. They're kind of worried it'll come off. And for the folks that um, are not going to run a can, you can put <coughs> excuse me, guys, you can put this on and then you won't have to worry about it. It'd be a nice little muzzle brake. Some of these muzzle brakes for these are pretty big and kind of, I don't know. This right here probably do the job. I'm gonna do some testing with it. I'll report back once I do some range testing. But uh, from what I could tell uh, in videos and some uh, reviews that it does a real good job. So what you're gonna have to do is kind of push it because of this O-ring in here. You have to push it and kind of as you're pushing then turn to get it on the threads. Always be careful about cross threading obviously. And once you get it going, it should be fine, but you got to get it up onto those threads. And I think I've cross-threaded, so I'm going to pull that back off just to make sure. Anytime you're doing something by hand, it's hard to really damage threads. It can, but you just have to, it's not like you're using a wrench, but you just want to make sure. And I can already feel that it's going to be secure once you get it down. Just like that. And if you wanted to take something like this punch and run through and just kind of give it a little more snug like that would be the best way to tighten it again just kind of push it put it in the hole like that and give it a little twist and there you go nice looking uh, muzzle comp very clean very professional looking looks awesome so anyway guys I want to thank the folks over at HB Industries again uh, here in the near future we'll be installing this spring kit this is a trigger spring kit that they sent that I'm excited about supposedly makes the trigger much better it's a little lighter type trigger and should work really well but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below if you've got any experience with any of the products we've shown today be sure to share that with us and as always guys like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day